Uh, hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, in this session we are going to discuss logarithm. Good number of questions from logarithm and its properties are frequently asked in competitive examinations. The topic is really easy. Even problems based on logarithms are very easy. You need some practice and you should be clear about the basic properties of logarithm. That's it. Uh, friends, actually logarithm makes the calculation, the arithmetic calculations very easy, right? See what happens, all the multiplications are converted to addition and all the subtractions are converted to division in case of, uh, all the divisions are converted to subtraction in case of logarithm. So the uh, calculation becomes very easy, right? See, uh, in the case of logarithm, while we calculate, uh, while we have to make the calculations, the base of the logarithm is generally used as 10, right? But in general, the base of logarithm can be any number, right? So all that we are going to discuss in this topic, in this session, okay? So let's begin with that. First of all, uh, we are going to discuss what are the different terms in uh, logarithm. C suppose A is to B is equal to uh, say C, right? So how do we write this expression in the case of logarithm? That's log A C is B. And how do we read that? Log C to the base A is B, right? Suppose 2 cube is equal to 8. Then how do we write it in logarithm? Log 8 to the base 2 is 3, right? So this is actually base of the logarithm. This is index and this is the value of uh, log a to the base 2, right? So this is base, this is index, log a to the base 2 is 3. Similarly, 3 raised to 4 is 81. So log 81 to the base 3 is 4, right? So this is how we read, uh, we write uh, or we take the logarithm of any uh, this equality. Okay. Now the important points that you have to keep in your mind, I write it over there, very, very important. As I have talked to you, uh, talked to you regarding this base, right? This base can be any number, but it cannot be base of the logarithm. It should not be negative. The first thing, it should not be zero the second thing okay so the base of the logarithm cannot be negative and it cannot be zero that's very very important right base okay that means this term suppose it is log b to the base a a should be greater than zero okay a should be greater than zero for the values uh, less than or equal to zero, the base is not at all defined or we can say logarithm is in fact itself not at all defined, right? Next thing, this value that is this index cannot be even negative, right? So logarithm is defined only for the positive values, right? That means I write it over here. Suppose we have log or say a to the base b so a should not be a should be greater than zero right it should not be negative neither zero nor negative and the third important thing we have just discussed that base of logarithm uh, should be should not be negative it should not be zero simultaneously it should not be one right so uh, a should be greater than zero and a should not be equal to 1, right? So base cannot be negative 0 or 1, right? But index can be 1. A can be 1, right? So the two things are clear in your mind. Base, that's B. It's not equal to 0. It's not negative. It's not 1. And index is A is not equal to 0, it's not negative. It can be 1, but it's not 0 or negative. So these are the important points uh, to be kept in your mind, okay? Now here, we take the properties of logarithm one by one, right? Log of A into B is log of A plus log of B. Here, A, B, that means A into B, 
right now the common mistake which student make is log of a plus b they write log of a plus log of b right so this is actually a blunder don't do this this is not at all true it's wrong right in fact log of a into b is actually log of a plus log of b right so if you write log of a plus b also as log of a plus log of b that means log of a plus b is equal to log of a b right so how a plus b can be equal to a b it's not necessary always right okay so be very careful about it do not make this blunder this mistake right the next thing log of a by b when a is divided by b so that is actually log of a minus log of b so again do not write log of a minus b as log of a minus log b the same logic is over there also right the third thing log of a raised to m can be written as m of log a and log a to the base a when base and index is same the value of the logarithm is 1 in all the cases as i have already discussed a and b both of them are positive quantities right base if it is not written we consider in the calculus we consider the base as exponential that's e and in arithmetic calculation if no base is given we have cons we consider it as to be 10 right so it is always not necessary to put up the base of the logarithm okay if nothing is given you can assume it to be e or 10 in arithmetic calculation assume it to be 10 in calculus problem assume it to be e right so you are clear a and b both the uh, logarithm uh, we are taking logarithm of a and b and both of them should be positive quantities right a by b log of a minus log b a is to m m log a log a to the base a that's one right now this case the next property log a is to n to the base b is to m is actually n by m log a to the base b right so this is also the property of logarithm i put up an example suppose the base is 2 cube and index is 3 raised to 4 so that can be written as or i just write 3 raised to 5 to avoid confusion all the numbers are different from each other or i write a uh, say 7 raised to 5 okay so all the numbers are different from uh, each other so that's 5 By three log seven to the base two, right? B M A N. So N by M that is this by this, this by this, and log A to the base B. That's log seven to the base two, right? So this is how we can write it. Okay. So that's important. Uh, frequently it is used. This property is uh, used frequently. I mean to say. Now log a to the base b. Here the base is b, and if you wish to change the base, it will be one upon log b to the base a, right? Suppose log, uh, say, eight to the base two. It's actually log two to the base eight. Precisely one upon this. Okay. So when you wish to interchange the base and index, one upon the same. Okay. So log a to the base b is equal to one upon log b to the base a. Precisely, log a to the base b into log b to the base a is one. Okay. Here, log a to the base b and a new base m is introduced. So in that case, log a to the base b will be log a to the base m divided by log b to the base m. Right. So suppose I have log, say. This right, so this is actually log three by log two, and uh, this uh, base is maybe any other number, maybe say e, whatever, right? So this way you can change the base of the logarithm. Okay, so these properties we will be using while solving the problems. Now the next property, a is to log m to the base e is actually m, right? So how do we establish this property? I assume I take this log a raised to m. I assume it to be k, right? That means a raised to k is equal to m, right? Now a this is what k a raised to k is m. So this is how we can establish this property. Okay. 
so that a raised to log m to the base a will be m only that means if this and this is same your answer will be this okay similarly this a raised to log b to the base e will be b raised to log a to the base e right so this you have to keep in your mind and uh, here log 1 to the any base is 0 right so log 1 is uh, will be always 0 irrespective of the value of the base okay and why it is happening because any number raised to 0 is 1 whether x raised to 0 whether y raised to 0 whatever right so if I take logarithm what I'll do log 1 y that's 0 right so doesn't matter what this quantity is log 1 will always be I'm sorry log this y y is 0 right doesn't matter what the whatever the base is it will always be 0 now friends as discussed logarithm of uh, this negative quantity and 0 is not at all defined but value of logarithm can be 0 can be 1 or can be any negative number can be a negative number right now what are the conditions listen to me carefully uh, suppose I have the base of the logarithm as 10, right? So log 10 to will be a positive quantity. Okay, and it will be greater than 0 but less than 1, right? Suppose this is, I say it's x, so x will be greater than 0 but it will be less than 1, right? Similarly, log 10 to the base 10 is 1 and the third thing log 10 to the base that's greater than 10 may be any number say 11 or say 12 15 whatever that will be x will be greater than 1 right so you see the difference here 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 if this value is uh, smaller than the base this value the index is smaller than the base then the logarithm will be positive but it will be less than 1 right uh, this okay if a base and index are same then the value will be 1 if index is more than the base or greater than the base then the value of logarithm will be greater than 1 right so you need to keep all these things in your mind the next is uh, suppose I have uh, any fraction over there suppose log 10 I have the fraction say 1 by 5 right so value of this will be less than 0 how it is I just show you log 10 1 by 5 I calculate it for you or say um, 1 by 100 right so that will be log 10 to the base uh, log 1 to the base 10 minus log see log a by b is what log of a minus log of b right so log b is 100 over here okay now log 1 is this 0 doesn't matter whatever the base is minus this 100 is what 10 square right so log 10 10 square so that's 2 log 10 to the base 10 so that's actually 1 so it's minus 2 right so this value is 2 uh, and minus we are having over here so precisely it is minus 2 that means if index is uh, a fraction that means a quantity less than 1 then the value of logarithm will be negative okay so these are very important properties of logarithm that you have to keep in your mind you can uh, do some of experiments on your own okay uh, I just take some examples to calculate the values of logarithm suppose 3 raised to 4 is 81 I write it as log 81 to the base 3 is 4 right similarly if I take uh, see 81 raised to 1 by 4 is 3 right so log right now this and this if you multiply both of them them log 81 to the base 3 and log 3 to the base 81 right log 81 to the base of 3 and log it will be 4 into 1 by 4 that's 1 right so log a to the base b into log b to the base a that will be 1 right similarly uh, 
if you wish to calculate log 3 say 1 by 81 that's what right I suppose it to be x as I told you if it is a fraction the value of logarithm will be negative that means x will be negative now let's calculate that I assume log 3 to the uh, log 1 by 81 to the base 3 to be x that means 3 raised to x is equal to 1 by 81 right so 3 raised to x is equal to 3 raised to minus 4 that means x is equal to minus 4 right so log 1 by 81 to the base 3 will be minus 4 that is negative value right so this is how you can practice some of the questions okay next is uh, logarithm equalities and inequalities suppose log a to the base b is equal to log c to the base b then a is equal to c right if not equal then there will be two cases like this log uh, x to the base m is greater than log y to the base m in that case x is greater than y if m is greater than 1 and x will be less than y if m is between 0 to 1 that means m is a fraction okay that's less than 1 so, so this is also an important property that you have to keep in your mind log a to the base m is greater than b that means a is greater than m to the base b m to the power b if m is greater than 1 and the second if uh, m lies between 0 to 1 then a will be less than m less to b so just write these property to or two, two three times take some examples so these properties will be like set in your mind the third thing is this okay so uh, we have discussed almost all the properties of logarithm the basic properties the properties of inequalities and all that right so you should revise this session um, at least two times so all the properties of logarithm should be clear in your mind right in the next session we'll be taking problems based on logarithm and its properties okay so bye bye i'll see you in the next session once again